Hey guys, today we're going to do the British Raj, including the two civil wars, the first one over India and the second one over Pakistan. A few things I want to point out is that you're going to actually lose the territory known as Burma eventually in this uh, conflict. So what's going to happen is in the breakaway, you're going to have these two states form away and create the nation of Burma, while these northwestern states are going to turn into Pakistan and these uh, Bengali states, west and East Bengal, they will actually both break away. All right, let's set up our stage. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is select our units, pile them into an army, use shift select and delete the remainder. You just want one unit. He is just gonna sit and train all game long. Now, if you didn't know, there's a little trick here. This unit actually is a special named unit. And if you don't want the special names, which highlight in green, you can just hit that and they'll go back to a normal one. So we're actually gonna change him using this changer here into an infantry division only for namesake and we can actually dump both of those so we're going to set up our lines like this and eventually we're going to get an artillery in there as well and for this game we're actually going to start uh, with a land drop doctrine mass assault we're going to change to that right off the hop and we're going to use this in our civil war to help deploy units quickly the last thing you're going to want to do is start from the south, building your military factories. If you go beyond this, you're actually getting into territory that could be taken by India in the first civil war, which is these territories here. That's about how large sometimes it can get. Finally, your political selections. You're going to start with the Great Indian Peninsula Railway. We've got our first five army experience, so we're actually going to train this division up. And we're going to get a fourth line of infantry going here. And we'll make our second selection. Now we could go for this and this right away. We're gonna just take industrial expansion first. Railways. And once we finish mass assault, we're actually gonna switch off and start into our construction trees. Now you'll notice that the bonuses right now don't show up, but if you actually hover over, you'll see there's a research speed bonus. That's what we're looking for. And we'll just start going and unlocking those trees. Now, normally in a game, you would want to actually uh, go down maybe the concentrated industry. For India, we're going to go down the dispersed industry because we want the efficiency base and growth to grow as fast as possible. So now we can actually we can move our airplane right here. Finally, we're going to build the Ishapur arsenal. Now soon we're going to have to start thinking about moving our way over on this side of the tree, the provincial elections. It's really tempting to go down and try and gain this before you actually do the civil war. It's really tough. You have to make a choice of the extra tech or the extra military factory. I choose the extra military factory. So we're just going to make that cavalier unit now just to show you what it looks like. It's just an empty new division and we're going to title it Cavalier. It will be a cavalry unit, and it will just be a single mobile cavalry unit. That's it. We're going to actually set him just to the lower priority, and that's it. That's all you're going to make. So we're not quite ready for it yet. Now, it should be noted the British pilot training still is awarded free when you flip in your civil war government. So for right now, we're just gonna let the game run one second, just make sure nothing is gonna happen, no, okay. Now the option here is the princely railways, or you can add in uh, something from the, uh, the side tree here for your weapons. Now it is recommended to get the infantry one because you'll actually be able to get a boost to this gun right here, which is what we're gonna try and do. Here we have it, that division is completely ready. That's all we're gonna use right now. We can stop training but we're going to keep it going so we get the bonuses. But this is all we need for our units for now. We'll show you what we're going to use for the second stage for the Pakistan War coming up. We're going to use this one and flip over and start on this guy right here. One final thing you're going to want to do actually is put an airfield in here, 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 and here. Just one and maybe an infrastructure up here. Um, the airfields we, we should actually probably do right now. They're relatively quick. They won't take a ton of time. We can do them. We'll queue it up anyways. We'll see what happens. 
So the last thing we're going to buy here, uh, once provincial elections queues up, you'll see here, is actually our infantry attack group, and that's it. From here on in, we just sit on that political power, and we can continue on. So you'll see we actually were able to finish all those up. Now, Bombay, I'm actually going to just remove from this. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit skittish about that actually going in my favor. So instead, we're going to put that uh, back in here in Hyderabad. So we've got lots of experience out of this guy. We're just going to dump him right now. And we'll still get more. Finally, we're going to go for the India People's Army. And let's see if Uncle Joe wants to take up our cause. Nope. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. In the end, the Soviet Union assisting you, even when they're called to war, is almost absolutely zero. And we're going to flip this right over right now. We've got lots of equipment in the pool, and we're going to use this time coming up to actually help regenerate this. And there we go, the 29th of June, a red letter day in our game's history. There's the free focus, the British pilot training, we'll take that. Here's the one we just completed, the Indian People's Army, and there's the notification. Now you'll notice I turned my game speed down to zero. I like to have the game set to auto-pause when I do things like the focus trees or uh, the national post events that come up. Uh, right now we're just going to actually pause the game and we're going to set up our army. I've got six of these units which are going to be given six units. So a total of 36 there. And we just need to make one. So there we go, there's our units. We're just going to zoom in, find them here, and make little fronts, just like this. And finally, we're going to add them all into a single... Set them to aggressive, and this will be it. You're going you're gonna to watch. This, this is going to end in a matter of days. Let's get you guys going. And we'll show you how quick this civil war ends. Here we go, ready, three, two, one, go! There go the units, and now they're deploying, moving around, capturing territory. There goes Delhi. And that's it. War is over. Now you'll see a lot of the equipment we had created is going to be returned to us there, which is excellent. We're going to now take these units and pile them right back into one gigantic uh, setup here. These four we're going to make into one army, and then these two we're actually going to leave just like this. Now he's going to turn into our left group, our western group. Now these guys, you're going to line up just like this. You could actually put a detachment on the one side here. I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to put them up here. And the reason is, is we're going to use both of those to sort of encircle and encompass the Bengali uprising. And we're going to use these divisions to just simply function as a barrier wall against Pakistan. So now these two guys, we're going to switch into our larger infantry division. And these ones we're going to leave like this just for now. We're going to actually switch them once we get this template, we're going to switch them out. We could have used one of those earlier ones, but I just figure it's template mess, so I'd like to clean it up. Oh, I forgot to actually do this at the time, but we're going to switch these now to early and limited conscription. There we go, and we're going to take this next. It gives you three civilian factories and two military factories. It's a great focus. So here's the one unit I was telling you guys about. We're just going to turf this one back into the pile. Edit the template, give it the artillery it requires, and call it a day. And we're going to upgrade this one to our higher priority, and these will become the new division, and we'll give you a leader. We'll actually assign these guys as well. I'm 
happened. So now that we've got everybody in the armed forces ready, the, the, the spawn of the war against Pakistan can happen at any point now. You are ready for it. Your military is in the, in the stage where it's just a matter of arming it, rearming it, what have you. Uh, you'll, you'll get enough people, don't worry about that. But uh, this is it. You're now ready for the encounter with Pakistan. You just have to simply wait for it to happen. Build a couple more military factories just so you have some good stability against Pakistan when they break away. So now we're going to take superior firepower. You see it's 87 days, but we've got enough, so we're going to spend it. It's 60 days now. We do want it to rush through as fast as possible. We don't need to deploy any units, and so we're not going to worry too much about that. And we're going to flip this up. You'll see it does take it right down, but we do gain quite quickly, and it is worth actually updating it as fast as possible. Get it out of the way. Grit your teeth, bite it, do it. And here we are. We'll increase our production as well. So now, like I say, it's just a matter of time waiting for the for the uh, second civil war to fire. Oh, there it is. So we're going to actually release them, declaring war on the Republic again. Slow your game down if you had it at full speed. And so you'll see there's the front. We're just going to reposition our units on it. Just going to delete that fallback line. Actually, I'll delete these ones too. So you see, I moved him quite far back, apparently. It was a little too far. And then you get these additional units here. You'll notice I've got this Hindu militia. We're going to make a new army group just for them. And the same thing sort of like with your cavalry. You don't want to make these ones on big, big, big border walls. You just really want to make them in specific places. And then finally draw your attack lines. We don't need those set to aggressive. We want them to just sort of slowly and eagerly chip away at them. Eventually what's going to happen on this one, you see how I've just simply created this line? That's all you want to do. You want to just simply add these additional Hindu militia units into this giant unit. You will take all of these guys, which is a total of uh, 8 and 15, 23 I want to say. Yep, 23 units, and then you'll actually just have them on this western front. This is really it. This is the setup that you're going to use. Um, you can set this group to attack over the Pakistani border. It's not usually a good fight because you'll see how depressed these units are for equipment. You do need to wait a little bit before they can actually fill up just a bit. But these guys should be more ready to go for the combat. And so what you want to do is win the eastern front, shift everything to the west, and then push westward. And you should have enough of everything to do that. There's the releasing Burma. You see the state here. We'll just switch it into this one so you can see it. There it goes. Now you'll notice that our army is actually still within this wall. There is a way that you could actually maneuver your army to, to sort of push them against the wall of Burma and then kind of grind them out. But uh, I found this technique works just as good to, to sort of win the war this way. Uh, let's get going on a little more guns. The next thing we're going to want to take here is the reviving the screw gun. This is awesome. It gives 15% movement with artillery and mountains. And you know that uh, from our build, we've got several artillery pieces in it. And so we're going to make excellent use of that. Lots more in our guns and ammunition. I guess. Yeah, actually, we're running low on steel. That's okay. All right. So we're actually going to take all of these units now. And we're going to reassign them. We'll send you here to the middle area, and we'll send you here to the southern area, and sweep up, and you will sweep up. These units will get redeployed straight into the Hindu army here, and that's it. If you ever want to see how your armed forces are doing, there is actually a, a method to check I'll show you how to do that. You just go into this button right here, and you look at your division templates. You can see our win ratio is 77% right now. 94% in our infantry, that's the big one. 71% in our smaller. Now, don't misunderstand this one. That's just a nine infantry division uh, made mostly great because of the other ones around it.
And there you go. That's it. You're done. That's how you do the uh, the two civil wars is India. A little bit of success there for you. And uh, some decent armies. From there on in, good luck, have fun, and I uh, hope you enjoy the guide.